Good morning, on the 25th of September 2023 and uh, I think it's the day of atonement today and so Shana Tova Umtuka, a happy and sweet new year and I think it's five uh, the year of blank on the year um, but I've been watching uh, some YouTube um, and hearing uh, from Eric Burton the year of the door opening and so Jesus says to knock and it will be opened and uh, yeah I, I, I see um, a correlation with the Jewish feasts um, with um, the celebration of, of Christmas here, although we know it's not the date of Jesus' birth. and <clears throat> uh, But the winter solstice is certainly a time of, uh, of joy to see the light returning, to see the bulbs passing through after we've gone past that shortest day. And, um, and that's certainly a, a joy in the Northern Hemisphere because the short, dark days can be very dark and depressing and cold and if you don't have the warmth of family and community it's extremely lonely and of course um, yeah, many people do pass at that time <clears throat> and we need to bring the warmth of that love and light with our community with our friends and with the joy and showing them that life rich and beautiful and complete um, and so from a healing point of view as well a lot of natural healing is based on cleansing of the body of detoxification of the body of um, that cleansing that purifying and that's uh, when we feel better when we get healed <laughs> and, uh, and our bodies they know how to detox and know how to cleanse and I see the, the lake of fiery sulfur. Um, you know, when we, we've done things that are wrong and we keep doing them, then the body's just in a state of stress and, uh, and hell really, hell on earth. Because the sulfur is the mineral within the body that detoxifies the body but it's also part of rebuilding the proteins in the body and the amino acids which make the proteins and uh, it's all about the balance of proteins in our body and uh, yeah we're just a bunch of proteins really <laughs> I don't know the names of all of them but attaining to the balance to the acid alkali to the wine and oil to that, that balance of, of uh, elements and how they work. And so, you know, we, the Bible's teachings are for love and we talk about love, but do we understand what love really is? And love is that oneness, that place of oneness. The one place was when the Holy Spirit descended and uh, that completeness, that wholeness, that having sins forgiven and repented and turned around and having a quiet conscience, because that's what it comes down to. Peace can only come from a quiet conscience. And with that quiet conscience with God, who is love, and with self, and with others. And so when we don't have a quiet conscience, we're stressed. And that stress is a mess of hormones, cortisol stress hormones. The adrenaline is the initial stress response to get us out of danger quick, and it feels good, and it is an addiction, and the modern world is, is uh, existing on the uh, adrenaline hype. 
um, in these end times and uh, it's at the source of all addiction because it's unsustainable the body has to go into rest and learning after a fear or stress and that can be something as simple as too much caffeine or too many Powerade drinks or an argument and upset and an unjust upset when justice isn't upheld. Justice is for peace and it is the foundation of the law of God for God's moral and righteous laws to be upheld. And yeah, we're at that time of Jacob's sorrow. <laughs> One magpie has just flown past. And, um, you know, as the sound of freedom is, uh, is, is a movement, not a movie, you know, to, to wake up to the dreadful abominations that are going on in this world. God's children are not for sale. No. And we have to be the ones to say no. Their innocence is protected and just the way of the world, the drip feeding of things that scripture, the Bible classes as sin because they take away from love. They fall short of love and physiologically in our body that causes the stress response. And the stress response is a different nervous system. And so 1 Corinthians 15, 52 says that we will be changed just as in the twinkling of an eye. And at the centre of the eye is the autonomic nervous system. And so, which nervous system are we existing in? There's no peace in the adrenal. Sympathetic nervous system, that is stress. Stress and more stress. <laughs> and I know, because I've lived through a lot of those stresses and uh, I didn't have a natural um, normal <laughs> uh, ooh, difficult uh, but anyway my family history has been, uh, been very stressful and uh, and I've had to learn to cope with those stresses that have come from that and learn to overcome them and that's been my job as a kinesiologist and multi-technique massage therapist, health and natural beauty therapist and uh, yeah it certainly helped me <laughs> and uh, got me to where I am now um, and uh, I give thanks to to God and Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour who is returning. I have always had faith and always trusted in God and so thank you. Um, and so yeah, so it is God who is love and light for enlightened of love anointed in us. The meaning of God's name is to cause love to become made whole and one in us, in our body, which is the temple for God's love to dwell. And so, happy day of atonement, and may we attain to the salvation, to the turning away from things that are wrong, from the sins, because they are what cause anxiety, pain, grief, sickness, stress and pressure and it needs to come down from the top because we cannot, we cannot heal with a rule that rules by money and profit. We need to thrive with the heavenly kingdom rule from the prophets, from God, from Jesus Christ, from the holy teachings make us whole and one in God's love. Golden, for the golden rule, for heaven on earth as promised, for the promised land. God bless. Hallelujah.
Maranatha.